Here we are in the little city of Rocks in South Central Idaho, just north of the town of Gooding. And this is a fantastic place to go for a little hike. Uh, some really scenic hoodoos and pinnacles of rock in this area. And it also has an interesting geological story. All the rock around me is a volcanic rock called rhyolite, uh, sort of at the opposite end of the spectrum of basalt. So rather than lava flows oozing out of volcanoes, these volcanic rocks have a much different and more explosive history. These rocks actually formed when uh, large explosive eruptions were occurring about 8 million years in the Twin Falls region, and that was associated with the Yellowstone hotspot. So the same volcano that sits underneath Yellowstone today was right underneath the Twin Falls, Idaho region, having very explosive eruptions of ash. As the ash came out of those volcanoes, it came barreling across the landscapes as these huge avalanches of ash called pyroclastic flows. The ash in those pyroclastic flows was so hot in excess of 1500 degrees Fahrenheit that it, when it came to rest, it actually remelted. So the ash actually melted back basically into molten lava and then it cooled and crystallized and to form this rock we see here. So rather than the ash you might see in other places, it's kind of grainy uh, and granular and you can kind of rub it with your fingers. This was ash that was actually emplaced and was so thick and so hot that it actually remelted before it cooled and solidified. A couple cool things about this area is that after the ash formed to form the rhyolite, um, some other weathering processes occurred which allowed these rocks to form these big pinnacles and isolated hoodoos of rock that you see behind me here. And the main thing would be the, the as the ash and lava cooled and solidified, it actually contracted a little bit forming big fractures in it. And then later, uh, water and ice would would penetrate those fractures and as the water froze into ice, the freeze-thaw process would break those into the individual fins and spires and that sort of formed this little landscape you, hear today, you see here today. So kind of a cool place to explore, great place to get out and see some cool geology here in Idaho.